Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to do another batch of soap. Okay, so I am finished with the landscape series. So let me bring you over here and show you what we have. So I have um, my Sahara Sunset. That is the Swiss Alps. That is the Stormy Sea, which also ended up just being the Calm Sea. And there is my Aurora Borealis. And some of these in that 10 inch mold don't give me enough soap, so I took some of the leftovers and chopped them up and did them as embeds in some hot process soap. Okay, on this one, I ran out of the orange, so it didn't quite get as orange as I wanted. So I went ahead and ordered some more, and I made it last week. I didn't film it since I had already done that one. And I used Brambleberry's Tangerine Wow. That's a Soap Queen tutorial. So I used Brambleberry colors exactly as they said. And I ordered some more Tangerine Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. I think the formula for Tangerine Wow has changed because it's Tangerine Wow. Look, it doesn't, this doesn't look quite so bad. I'm not happy with this. It's too orange. It's not quite so bad in the camera. But I did go ahead and do another batch. And the reason I did is the first one I did several weeks ago is going on a trip probably one day next week. Some of it's going down south and some of it's going out west. So I did another batch for my peeps. Okay, that being said, I'm going to do an in the pot swirl. The main is going to be white. Then I'm going, my accent colors will be nuclear orange, which does not show up well on this camera. Uh, ultramarine blue and hydrated chromium green. And I'm using, I've never used it before, uh, I'm going on, on YouTube reviews, Nature's Garden, um, Black Raspberry and Vanilla. A lot of companies make this. Um, this one got some really good YouTube reviews. And I'm also told by some YouTubers who have used it that that actually not only slows down your trace, it actually can even break it up. If, if it starts, now last time I did this, I had a little bit too thick a batter, so I'm kind of going on that. I've not used it. I'm a little nervous about that, but we will see. Let's go make some noise and make some soap. emulsification and put it into three containers having the main and the main pot here which will be the white has been achieved. So let's get this relatively equal into three parts and save the rest in the main pot. Titanium dioxide into the main. <laughs> and we'll stir that in. And I'll 
Let's set that aside for just a moment. I'll put my colors, my accent colors in, our nuclear orange first. Hydrated chromium green second. And lastly, our ultramarine blue. Let's see how our fragrance oil does. Stir this in and see what happens. And yes, it is very nice and thin. Which probably means I will have to either shut us down or stick blend just a little bit. Because this is behaving so well, and it is supposed to, I'm going to risk the stick blender just a little bit. But I still think this might be a tad thin to pour, so you know what? I'm going to shut us down for about five minutes. Keeping a very close eye on these, and I'll be back. Okay, we're back, so I think I'm a little better prepared for the pour now. So I just want to get these up nice and high. And I'm going to pour most of it there up high so it pierces to the bottom. The same with the green. And the blue. And then start over in some opposite areas. Save it for the top. Take my spatula, 
I'm not sure if you can see them in there. Yeah, I think you can. And just go around and down the center, and that is it. And we're ready to pour this. So what I think I'm going to do, this is completely up to you is how you pour it, as to whether you pour it down the side or you just pour it in one. I'm just going to pour it in one. And let it do its thing. Let me try to clean this out best I can. Okay, now I will just take the leftovers, drizzle them on top, Take my thermometer and just kind of play around a little bit. And there we have it. Not bad. So there we have an in the pot swirl with the new fragrance oil and I can tell you standing here it smells good and it also behaves very well. So if it if the scent sticks with it I'm gonna really like this one. So I will see you probably tomorrow for the cutting. I'm gonna let this sit for about five minutes to firm up a little, spray it with some alcohol and put it in a nice warm spot. See you later everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to cut the soap I made. It's been 13 hours and it's ready to cut. That's one thing I like about this recipe and I will post it below. If you um, use this recipe and you let it go through a hot gel, it really hardens up fast. And this went through a gel because we have our nice smooth sides and the colors on the side are really pretty. So let's cut into it and see. This recipe may not be the best if you want complicated swirls because it has a lot of hard oils, but this fragrance oil from Nature's Garden slowed the trace way down. So even a recipe like this with a scent oil like this that slows down your trace, it would have worked great. Let's get to the main reason we're here. Cut some soap. Let's see the inside. Oh yeah, 13 hours. It's a nice hard bar. Yeah, very nice. I was afraid if I waited till this evening to cut this, it'd be so hard that my wire cutter wouldn't be able to do it. And I think that's true. Very nice.
Yeah, my wire cutter is not happy with me with this soap. And a thin one for me to test. I always test it before I give it out to make sure it's safe to use. It has to first pass the tongue zap test and then it has to pass a shower test. And if it passes both tests, then it's safe to give away. So there we have it. What I think is a very successful in the pot swirl. I'm going to do another one next week with a black base and neon colors as the accent. So anyway, everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.